transpersonal psychology is a subject in which I am very interested in exploring more and learning more about. I first came to know of it, um, well, I mean, I'd heard of it loosely because it's actually derived from the work of Carl Jung and Abraham Maslow and a variety of others, but it is understood to be a subsect of psychology that focuses on transcendent experiences as they relate to spirituality. So it's sort of the psychology of spirituality, which anyone who has been searching for meaning in their life or who has gone through the therapeutic process might find this to be particularly interesting. I had um, learned a little more about it during my practicum placement, which I just completed recently. My um, supervisor there had a master's in transpersonal psychology. And while we didn't dive as deep into it as I would have liked to have, he certainly referred to it as life-changing. If you look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which you may have heard that term or you may know lots about it, but what it talks about are the different aspects of how we exist as human beings with at the very top of this pyramid, self-actualization. And I've got a really kind of cool little sample of a pyramid right in front of me here where self-actualization is described as achieving one's full potential, including creative activities. So if you've noticed, we talk a lot about Jungian psychology and active imagination and really utilizing creativity to access your soul and your soul's messaging and indeed purpose. So the hierarchy of needs, I'll just quickly flip through it, is your basic needs, so safety needs, psychological needs. So you need to eat, you need a place to stay, you don't want to freeze to death, so all those kind of things. Uh, physiological needs, which is belongingness and love. So those, those family relationships, your friends, feeling like you belong to a community, really important. Uh, esteem needs, so feelings of um, accomplishment and prestige, which... I think in the first half of life, which we talk about when we refer to individuation, really dive deep into these basic and um, sort of psychological needs. We uh, dive in and we, you know, get the career, get the family, get the house, get the car, get all those things that make us feel safe and secure. And sometimes we'll stop there, we're happy, we feel good. Um, our kids are growing up, our, you know, friends are doing well. We're feeling good about that. And we got that nice job and we've got a good pension and... Maybe that's enough. Nothing wrong with that. But then we get into the self-fulfillment needs, which I just mentioned, the self-actualization, where you've achieved the security and the solid foundation. I mean, beyond foundation. You're doing pretty good in your life, but you're going, shoot, I mean, uh, what does it all mean? What do I want? So transpersonal psychology um, has a lot of tactics and tools of self-exploration where you can ideally tap into your inner self. You can call it your soul, your psyche, whatever you want, and find out what is it that truly fulfills me. If you've gotten to that point where you've fulfilled all those other needs and you're sitting there going, ah, I'm not really that happy still, or what have I given back to the world other than, you know, I've got a good job and a nice house and a kid that's doing great, maybe not even that, I don't know, but maybe you've got those things and you're still feeling like you haven't really made a difference. Um, and that's not a criticism. Many people stop and enjoy that aspect of life and all the power to you. Um, trust me, sometimes I feel like I just want to stop. I like the new house I just moved into and I my car is pretty cool. Nice family, great friends. So um, going beyond that, it can be exhausting and challenging. But why not try some of these really great transpersonal uh, techniques, whether it's meditation or this breath work or whatever else that you find. Give it a, give it a little research. Um, Stanislav Grof and his wife, Christina Grof, have really um, dove deep into this work. And um, again, I don't know a lot about it. I've got some books I need to read, uh, more research I want to do, but I'm very intrigued. And if you have any knowledge of it, I'd love to hear more about it. Love and respect to you on your journey. I uh, send my support as well. And uh, we'll definitely be talking about this subject more later. Have a great day.